Welcome to BIM 360 Design Part 4. My name is Bill Niddle and I am an AEC Applications Consultant here at Synergist Engineering Design Solutions. In the previous video, I explained how to implement BIM 360 Design on your BIM 360 project. In this video, I'll walk you through collaborating with BIM 360 Design. Whether you are the architectural team or consulting engineering teams, everyone can take advantage of collaborating in the cloud from anywhere at any time. In this video, you are a member of the structural team and you have launched a project template as well as logged into A360 within Revit. To start collaborating in BIM 360 Design, you will need to enable cloud work sharing in BIM 360 Document Management. Therefore, you will go to the Collaborate ribbon tab and select the Collaborate Tool button. Next, you will need to select your team folder within the BIM 360 project you are collaborating on. Finally, you can select Initiate to enable collaboration in the cloud. Before you begin to model the structural design, you will need to link to the architect's Revit model for context. As I mentioned in the previous video, BIM 360 Design provides three different linking methods. First, you can utilize live linking, which is similar to the classical collaboration for Revit workflow. The second method is to leverage controlled sharing by linking from the shared folder. The third method is to use controlled sharing by linking to the consumed model shared in a package. Within Revit, you can begin by selecting the Link Revit Tool button on the Insert Ribbon tab. In the Import Link RVT dialog, you will need to select the External References shortcut on the place list. Given that you are not a member of the Architects team in BIM 360 Design, you cannot view the folder. However, you can open the Shared folder. As you can see, you have access to each team's folder. Opening the Architects team folder reveals the current model shared by the Architect. However, you may be updating your link files more often than is necessary using this method. Therefore, you will need to explore the package this model is a part of. That way you can make the decision to consume it. To do so, you will need to go to your team space in BIM 360. Within your team space, you can expand the timeline to see both your team's swim lane and the shared swim lane. As you can see, there is a package available from the architect on the shared swim lane. You will need to select the node to review the sets shared in the package. As you can see, there are eight sheets and one 3D view available. To view them, select the Explore button. Here you can use the Large Model Viewer to view and navigate the model through the use of your scroll mouse, keyboard hotkeys, and BIM 360 toolbar provided in the Viewer window. For example, you can turn on the View Cube and switch to Perspective View. Using the content browser to your left, you can open and explore each sheet in the package. If the package is valuable to your team, you can consume the package by selecting the Consume button. This will copy the model from the shared folder into your team's consumed folder. On the timeline, you will notice that the package node changes visually from an open circle to a filled circle. You can validate that the model was consumed by switching to the Document Management module. After you expand your Teams folder, you can open the Consumed folder to see that BIM 360 Design created a Team folder for the Architect. When you open the Architect's Team folder, you will see the model that was consumed from the package you explored. Returning to Revit, you can now navigate back to the root folder of your BIM 360 project to access your Team folder. Next, navigate to the Architects Team folder within your Team's Consumed folder. At this point, select the Architects model that you've just consumed. Check the positioning and select the Open button. Finally, make the necessary visibility and graphical adjustments to see the extent of the Architects model you've just linked. As the project progresses over time, each team is adding new elements, removing unnecessary elements, and modifying existing elements in their live models. Inevitably, each team will release new packages in order to share their model updates to other teams. When a new package is shared, a new version of the published model is created in the shared folder. The Design Collaboration module of BIM 360 Design makes it possible to visualize the changes between the new package and the previous one. In your case, 
the MEP engineer has shared a new package at the end of the design development phase. To determine if this package will drastically impact your design, you will explore its contents within your team space. First, you will need to expand the timeline to see the new package node from the MEP team. Clicking on the furthest node on the right side of the swim lane will launch the latest package. When the package opens, you can select the Explore button to begin your review. This launches the Large Model Viewer. To see the aggregated model, you can select the Project Model Viewer. This will display your live model in context with the latest consumed models and the published model within the package. You can also use the Team Filter to turn on and off your team's model as well as others. To view what has changed, you'll select the Change Visualization tool. Design Collaboration will analyze the changes and soon enough, the Change Visualization pane displays. A summary of the changes will display as three buttons along the top, conveniently labeled Added, Removed, and Modified. Within the buttons are the quantities of elements affected in the published model. In your case, you can view what elements have been added by turning off the removed and modified elements. Below the Summary buttons, additional filters can display the changes by disciplines affected or modification type. Depending on which display filter you choose, you can further filter the elements by selecting the Discipline buttons or Type buttons. To get even more granular, the Search and Filter bar provides even more depth in filtering by entering a keyword search or selecting one or more Revit categories. Finally, there is the Results area, which can display results by instance or an elemental tree. When you click on a result, the Information pane displays, indicating the results of the change. Aside from visualizing the changes in the model, you can also review the changes across the sheets that were published with the package. Selecting the HVAC plan from the second floor, you can now run Change Visualization. By exploring the changes across the model and sheets, it is apparent that this package is worthy of consuming. Now that the package is consumed, you can revert to Revit to reload the linked MEP model from the newly consumed package. Congratulations, you're now ready to implement and utilize BIM 360 Design for your new projects.